Hello, and welcome to Wild McLean's Tech Tip Videos. I'm Brian, and today we will be taking a look at our high efficiency boilers and the ignition fault code. Our condensing boiler line has a few different ways that the ignition fault will be displayed. As you can see here on our Ecotec boiler, Ultra, Evergreen, WM97, and Eco boilers, or the Aqua Balance unit. Getting to the bottom of the issue will basically be the same for all of them. All of these boilers utilize negative pressure regulated gas valves. If you were to put a manometer on the manifold side of the gas valve, you will see a negative value when the valve opens. This type of system actually pulls the fuel out of the gas line, rather than depending on the positive pressure from the line. So, they are diagnosed differently than the standard type of gas valve most of you are used to dealing with, where you would expect to see three and a half inches water column positive pressure on the manifold side. So, if we get any type of blockage in the airflow, there will be low or no gas flow. And the next thing you see on the display will most likely be ignition fault. Now, we will take a look at the most common causes of restricted airflow. We constantly stress the importance of proper maintenance especially on our condensing units for this very reason. As the heat exchanger builds up combustion debris, the airflow is reduced, the gas flow is reduced, and the boiler eventually won't light. This is generally the most common cause of ignition failure in these units. So, if your condensing boiler won't light, the first thing to do is check the maintenance history. If it hasn't been cleaned for a year or two, it's time to get the correct maintenance kit for the boiler and make sure it is cleaned properly according to the manual. For the ultra boiler, the heat exchanger cover plate must be removed and the heat pins completely scraped out with a cleaning tool. Follow the complete instructions in the manual or you can watch the video we have for cleaning the ultra boiler. For aqua balance, the heat exchanger must be cleaned with a brush. Once again, a maintenance kit is required and there is a video that will lead you through the procedure. For our fire tube boilers like Evergreen, WM97, Ecotec, and Eco, the aim is the same. Restricted passages will reduce gas flow. Generally, this design requires the fire tubes and combustion chamber to be flushed with warm water to keep them clear. But it is just as important that there is unrestricted flow through these passages. Follow the manual and videos for best results and be sure the burner is clean and free flowing. Beyond looking at maintenance, follow the manual and check these items to uncover the cause of ignition failure. Is the gas line purged of air? Is there sufficient gas pressure? Using a manometer, check the incoming gas pressure, minimum four inch water column. As the boiler is attempting to ignite, Observe incoming gas pressure. If the incoming pressure drops slightly, that indicates the gas valve is operating properly. Maximum 13 inch water column, minimum 4 inch water column. Is the condensate trap free flowing? Disassemble the condensate trap, clean and reassemble. Is the igniter worn or warped? Visually inspect the igniter. Is the exhaust or intake blocked in any way? Is the ignition cable resistance correct? It must read 
1,000 ohms plus or minus 50. Have combustion settings been adjusted? Confirm CO2 and CO are correct. Are all the gas train gaskets tight? Check gaskets for airtight seal. Do the windings of the gas valve show the correct resistance? Is the gas valve receiving the proper voltage? Once all of these items have been closely inspected and corrected, there are a few simple tips that can be helpful if all else fails. If you have verified that the gas valve is opening and the spark is happening in the right sequence, you can try and block the air intake slightly to temporarily change the air fuel mixture. If the boiler successfully lights, this could indicate the fuel mixture is not correct. It may just be that the air fuel mixture needs some adjustment. In this case, you will want to follow the procedure for adjusting the carbon dioxide reading with a flue gas analyzer. This procedure is described in the manuals and we have videos available that will guide you through every step of the process. Well, thanks for watching. We hope this video was helpful and be sure to download our Pro Tools app. It has everything you'll need to diagnose and repair Weill McLean products along with lots of other features.